Okay guys, today we're going to be talking about how you can find the constant sum of an ellipse. Alright, so before we do this, we first have to understand um, some terminology here, and that's going to be a focus or a foci. Okay, so when you're dealing with an ellipse, whether it be vertical or horizontal, you're going to have something on that called um, a foci, and there's going to be two of them. So there are two points on the ellipse called a foci, and it occurs on the major axis. Okay, so all the ellipses have them, whether it's horizontal or vertical. So for example, if I were to draw a horizontal ellipse right now, okay, you know that this is going to be my major axis, this will be my minor, right? We know that this is going to be the vertices on my major axis, right? My co-vertices would be here and here on my minor. And we're going to have two points on the major axis called a foci, and those typically occur somewhere around here and here, right? Usually right before the vertices on the major axis, okay? Um, so that's what they are. They're two fixed points on an ellipse. If you were to have a vertical, right, you'd have something like this. Okay, so again, here's your um, major axis on your vertical, okay, your minor axis, again, here are your vertices on the major, your co-vertices on the minor, and again, your foci, the two fixed points, right, will occur on the major axis, so in this case here and here, right, somewhere around there. And what this is telling you, okay, when they're saying find the constant sum, right, there's a relationship between the foci, okay, so if you were to have a point anywhere on this ellipse, so for example, if I put a po uh, point uh, right here, it doesn't matter where I put that point, but anywhere on the ellipse. Okay, and I draw okay, a line from this foci to that point, okay, and then from this foci to that point, okay. The distance from here to here and from here to here, all right, or the distance of the two, right, when you add them, that's going to be the constant sum, all right. And the cool thing about this is it doesn't matter where you put this point that constant sum will remain consistent all the time, right? So for example, I could have a point somewhere over here, okay? And again, that constant sum will be the same even though it's drawn a little bit differently, all right? So that's what the constant sum is. And again, it looks a little bit different on a vertical. You would just have something like this. Again, if your point occurring somewhere on the ellipse, right? And then again, you're just drawing line to that point from your full size, okay? And again, the distance, when you add the two, that's going to be the constant sum. All right, so that's what they want us to do here. They want us to find the constant sum, and they give us the following information. They give us the coordinates of both full size, right? So here we have full size 1 and full size 2. It's occurring at negative 3 comma 0 and 3 comma 0. So remember, the full size occurs on the major axis. So looking at this, we know what type of ellipse we're dealing with. If the foci occurs on the major axis, right, where is this occurring? This is occurring on the x, right? Negative 3, 0 and 3, 0. So we know that we're dealing with a horizontal ellipse here. So what we can do is go ahead and draw that horizontal ellipse. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So try it nice and big. Here's our horizontal ellipse. Okay, here's our major axis. Here's our minor. And let's go ahead and just put those two points on. So right about here, okay, we'll say this is three, zero, and this is gonna be negative three, zero, okay? And then we have a point on there saying zero, four. So I'm gonna assume it's gonna be right here, zero, four. And they want us to find the constant sum. So this isn't too hard. You're simply going to use um, the distance formula, except you're just going to expand upon it, all right? So I'm going to find the distance from here to here, all right? And then I'm going to find the distance from here to here, and then just add the two, right? So what we can do here, we can label all three of our points. So let's go ahead and do that. So this will be x1, y1, and this will also be x1, y1, because we're going to start over, right? After we find the distance here, we're then going to find the distance here, right? We're going to enter it in two times. And this will just be x2, y2, right? And we know the distance formula. That's going to be the following, right? We get the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 
squared, right? So let's just go ahead and plug these points in. So we'll call this distance one here. So distance one, we're just gonna go ahead and plug that information in. So x2 is going to be zero minus x1, which is negative three. So two negatives make a positive. Okay, y2 is going to be four. Right, and y1 is zero. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do this. We know that this is going to be three squared, so this will be nine plus, right? This will just be four squared, so 16. Nine plus 16 is 25. So our distance one here is gonna be the square root of 25, which we know is gonna be plus or minus five. However, we are talking about a distance here, so we know it's not gonna be negative, it has to be the positive. So distance one is going to be five. Okay, let's find distance two now. We're just gonna go do the same thing, just using this value now. So let's go ahead and do that. Distance two. So x2, right, again, zero, minus x1, which is going to be three here. Plus y2, which is gonna be four, minus y1, which is gonna be zero. Okay, so again, we know that this is going to be negative three squared, which is nine. Right, and again, four squared to 16, so we get the same thing here. So distance two is gonna be the square root of 25, which we know is gonna be plus or minus five, but we know we're just picking a positive. So distance two is five. All we have to do now is add the two, and that's our constant sum, so five plus five is 10. So what we can say here, constant sum is going to be 10. Okay, and that is it.